Today we are going to apply prosate transfers. This is something that you want to do right before you apply your prosate transfers. This is, <clears throat> we are just attaching them to the transfer paper here. There should be a side that's just paper and then a side that's sticky. This is a, um, a release that works with water. So you want to cut out paper that is roughly the size of your prosthetics. And on the shiny, sticky side of your paper, you want to take your transfers and press them down. It's good to mark on the back of the clear side which direction or scales are going. I didn't do it here, but you will see why it's important later. It's okay to be a little bit mean and forceful here. Um, <coughs> and so that's, uh, you want to make sure when you lift that the edges don't lift with it. So you can use the back of your nail or a popsicle stick. It's really just important to get the edges down. If you're finding that it's a little bit hard to stick to get them to stay down, you can dab some prosade all over the top of your piece and that'll make it tacky again. So next, what you want to do is cut away the excess, but you don't want to cut into the edges. If you don't want to take the time to make these yourself, we are selling these prosthetics as a set on our Etsy store. You can check them out here. One of the things I like to do after I cut away the excess is to label them. You can hold them up to a light with a sharpie and draw the shape and the direction of the prosthetic. If you want to learn how to pre-paint your prosthetics like I did here, become a subscriber at www.patreon.com slash the LARP house. Say the scales are going that way. All right. <clears throat> Here, I think they're going this way. So now you have the direction that your scales are going. Now for this piece, you want to be careful. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> because it's got these ridges on it, it's going to be a little bit harder to get the edges down. And you really want to, you <clears throat> you only want to do this like just before you go to apply them. Otherwise, it will not uh, rebound properly. Just make sure to get all the edges that you can down. There you go. <clears throat> Once you've got one edge down, you can you can cut you don't have to mash the because there are ridges like right here on the edges, so you don't want to squash them too much. Uh, after that, after it's fairly decently stuck, cut away the excess, and 
see you can see where the ridges touch. <clears throat> and now you have your marks so that you can uh, so that you can apply them. Let's let's get to it. Once you've done that and you have your pieces, what you're gonna need is a spray bottle of water, makeup pads, 99% alcohol, makeup sponges, Ben Nye cream makeup smashed into a clear palette, powder brush, setting powder, Ben Nye's final seal sealant, and makeup sponges. I have put my monster eyes in because that's kind of the first step with any makeup if you're doing it yourself or if you are a crier for contacts like I can be. <laughs> and you want to start with a clean face. So you guys are all seeing me without any makeup on. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is even though you have cleaned your face, you want to take a cotton pad with your alcohol and clean the area of your face that you're going to apply the makeup to. You just want to get rid of all of the dirt and oil. And while we're at it, I'm just going to clean all over. <sighs> Wait for your skin to calm down a little bit and for the, <clears throat> for the fumes to stop. Take your appliance, make note of which way the scales are facing, and then you peel off the silicone treated acetate so that your appliance is still stuck to the transfer paper. And then you just place it on, have your spray bottle handy, you place it on and you press it really hard. Press it in as much as you can. This part is a little bit weird, but um, you can use a sponge with water if you want. I'm just gonna spray myself straight in the face. It's just water, so whatever. Now, once this paper gets wet, it has a uh, release agent that activates when wet, so the prose transfer will stop sticking to it and be stuck face instead. That's the idea anyway. It's not lifting yet. Really press it into the skin. There we go. Now I have started with pre-painted transfers. It is not necessary to pre-paint them, however it is preferable. I've done it a little bit too close to my eyeball here, so we're just gonna peel that part off, but there we go. Um, other than that, we are good. Looks, uh, looks pretty great. On to the next one. Now I am praying to the old gods that I have marked the direction of the scales correctly. Ah! Right, so I can see, I put it pretty close to my eye on that side. I don't really have a trick for getting it symmetrical, just, you know, pray. Really press, press it in. Okay. <laughs> you probably have a towel handy, to be honest. But, uh, there's water, so. Who cares? <laughs> Not 
released in yet. That's all right. Oh, what do you know? It's upside down. Whatever. <clears throat> there we go. It actually looks pretty, pretty great too. So we got, we got our scales um, on our cheeks. Next time, time for the big piece. <clears throat> Actually, I just wiped my hand on my face, so let's go back in with a cotton pad and clean that crap right up. Wait for that to dry. No? Um. Just repeat the process and if you have made your marks on the front of your piece you know generally where it's gonna go now like I was saying earlier you want to be gentle with this one a little bit because of those ridges that I sculpted into it and it's your forehead is curved obviously so Paper has to be wet to really form to that curve. Wonderful. All right. So we have got rosé transfers. Here we go. Now, what you can do you don't really want it to be in your eyebrows too much, but uh, now you want to um, take a brush and like just a little cap full of alcohol, dab the alcohol along the edges of your piece. This helps break down the edges and blend them in so that they're just really, really smooth. It's not, it's not super necessary if your edges are really good, but And, uh, yeah, that's what you got. Now you are free to put on the rest of your makeup and blend it in. You know, just some foundation around the edges. Continue to just blend wherever you see it lifting. Blend the edges a bit. And you take your setting powder and just set it up. Seal 
it in a moment, but I'm just using my regular foundation. the edge here. And I mean, basically just kind of put your foundation on like you normally would. Just, you know, kind of avoid. Avoid putting it <laughs> on the actual prosthetic. Bye. Um, and just use your finger to blend it in under your eye. edges. Yeah, now you're free to do your brows and put on the rest of your character makeup. Um, but, you know, that is that all took about took about what fifteen minutes. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go finish my like normal usual makeup. If you really want to, you could take a little bit of little bit of green and kind of blend it out a bit. transfers into your skin with Ben Nye cream makeup or you can also use skin illustrator palettes but um, those are harder to blend like for bright colors that are smooth like this. Uh, I like Ben Nye. Um, after that you just want to take a makeup sponge and Ben Nye it's called Final Seal and just it this is an example of a look that you can get with these prose transfers and you can laugh and you can cry and they'll stay on all day <laughs> hashtag dragon princess what <laughs> So thank you for watching the LARP House. Like us, subscribe to us, fight with us. We'll see you next week.